Hello and welcome to another Edinburgh Watch Company review. On today's video, we're going to be talking about and showing you an unworn Rolex Submariner non-date. You can find out more about this watch by visiting our website at edinburghwatchcompany.co.uk. There you'll see some photographs we've taken, technical specification and pricing. But if there's anything else you'd like to know, perhaps discussing a part exchange, funding the watch, then please just give me a call directly. So what we have here is one of the classic Rolexes. It's one of the sports collection that you very rarely see in shop windows and are very, very hard to get. And we're delighted to actually have the opportunity to offer you uh, this particular watch, a 2020 unworn watch. Now here at Edinburgh Watch Company, we're very, very pernickety in what we buy. We only buy watches with box and papers and we like everything to be presented as it should be. This watch was literally brought earlier this year put in the box and been completely unworn and it's been a very nice investment for the chap that we bought it from. So we have the outer sleeve, we have the outer box, we have this lovely green wave box, we have the Rolex warranty card so that's going to have like nearly five years of warranty left on it, we have the hang tags, instruction manual, just absolutely everything. Now it varies depending upon which shops you go to, but you're probably looking around about a year to 18 months to get a non-date. You might be lucky if you get one. If you're a good customer of a dealer, then maybe you'll get one much quicker. But generally they are quite hard to get and therefore they are actually achieving a premium over list. But the watch is a fantastic, fantastic watch. So those of you watching this video today, I'm sure most of you know lots about a Submariner, but um, an absolutely you know, one of the stable models within the Rolex is sports collection, made in stainless steel, an automatic diver's watch taking you down to a thousand foot. So a really, really practical watch. The non-date is very, very popular. It's very sort of James Bond, um, very uncluttered dial, beautiful to wear, same dimensions as the date one, but we tend to find our customers are must have a date, don't want a date, it's that sort of thing. They're both equally nice and both equally attractive watches to buy. So that's a little bit of a summary. Let's go and have a slightly closer look at it. So if I go back a very long time, when I was 23, um, a Rolex Submariner was the first watch I bought. It was a watch that I aspired to own then, and I'm sure it's something that hasn't changed at all, as you know, thousands of people across the world would love to have a Rolex Submariner. And although it has been enhanced and changed a little bit, fundamentally it's still the same looking watch as it was back then for me and many, many years before even I was thinking about one. So it's a stainless steel watch. Rolex do all the stainless steel in the house. It's what they call 904 L grade stainless steel. This style of Rolex Submariner came out around about 2010, I think, in the sub date and I think the non-date followed. So they made some changes to the watches. First of all, the case, it's got like the maxi case here, so it's got slightly wider lugs than the normal uh, Submariner. Still a 40 mm case, but it just has a slightly, a bigger footprint on your wrist. Stainless steel bezel here is the same as the older one, except that they've now removed the aluminium bezel insert and put a ceramic bezel insert. The reason being for that is to try and make it more resistant to like scratches and chips. And having said that, in you know, all the years that we've been dealing in the ceramics, I've never seen one come in with any damage on it. So they are pretty resistant to that. The crystal here, sapphire crystal. So again, it's pretty scratch and chip resistant. The dial itself, it's an absolute masterpiece of design. It really is gorgeous black dial. The numbers here, the sort of hour markers there are really, really strong luminous coating on them. Likewise, the same on the hands, but just really, really uncluttered, you know, with a the Rolex there and then superlative chronometer, Submariner as you go further down the dial. Considering it's an automatic diver's watch, it's absolutely relatively thin. So it's a really, really nice watch to wear and fits underneath most shirt cuffs. You can see here on the side that the side of the case there is actually polished. When you come round to the front here on the lugs, it's satinized. Back round to this side, it's polished again, and then you have the crown guards there. This actual crown, you can probably see there with its Rolex logo on it, it actually screws into the side of the case. As I said earlier, this will take you down to a thousand foot, so that's going to be enough for most, and if it's not, you can get a sea dweller, that will take you down to 4,000 foot, or perhaps the deep sea down to 12,800 foot, but I think this will do most. 
Submariners have always been fitted with the Oyster bracelet and hasn't changed at all, although they've made some enhancements to the bracelet in that the links are now solid links and the clasp is now what they call the glide lock clasp, which I'll show you in a minute. But the finish of the bracelet is what we call satinized or that brushed effect, except for the side where it's polished. Really, really comfortable bracelet to wear. And then it comes down and joins the deployant clasp there. You have the Rolex logo here and you have a safety clasp. So we just pull that back and then this opens. On the older Submariners, this used to be pressed steel. On the latest models here, it's actually solid steel. However, this has what we call the glide lock clasp. Now this is something that first started off in the Rolex Deep Sea around uh, about 2007, and then it became available on the Rolex Submariner and the Sea Dweller. So what happens is that this is the bracelet set just now. And if you felt that it was a little bit too tight on the wrist, then all you have to do is gently pull that and then this slides. Very, very easy to do. Just get it to the exact position you want it and it locks back in again. So typically, you know, you're wearing a watch in the morning and it's really comfortable. It's a really hot, sticky day. Your wrist has expanded a bit. That's all you have to do. Pull and slide, click back in. Couldn't be easier than that. Um, back of the case, uh, stainless steel case back. Uh, again, with a nice um, plinth there if you wanted to engrave it. This is like a special occasion for someone. But um, just really overall, just a fantastic looking watch and I can see why they're so popular. So let's go and have a slight uh, closer look at it on the wrist. Now my wrist is actually quite a big wrist. I've got an eight inch wrist. So this is absolutely fine for me. Um, this just locks in here. In fact, that's a bit too tight so I can pull it, slide it, click it back in and it's as easy as that. And that's it on my wrist now. It's such a timeless design, it really is. It's so just a cracking looking watch. I say with this a very, very uncluttered dial, beautiful loom on it. The way that when you actually turn the, the bezel there, you can just really appreciate the engineering that's gone into it as the, as the ratchet goes around there. I think everything is so beautifully proportioned. You see the bracelet coming down here, it tapers down to where it joins the glide lock clasp. New design deployment clasp there as well when the glide lock came out. So I think it's a really, really, a great looking watch. That gives you an, like there, you can see it's not particularly thicker on the wrist there. This actually shows you, that's actually a 44 mil CMOS Speedmaster I'm wearing, but again, 40, I think it's a nice size for, for most wrists. In fact, here we have some ladies wearing these watches as well, so it's not just a, a watch for guys. So there we are, that brings us to the end of today's video. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch. If you're watching this on YouTube today and you love your watch videos, you may be actually looking for something we've sold before and we've shot maybe 450 videos and lots more coming along soon. So why not go and have a look at our YouTube channel there, you can see all the various watches we've done. But if you'd like to see all our latest collection coming in, all you have to do is just go and click there. That will subscribe you to our channel and then you'll be notified as they come through. If you're on Instagram or Facebook or Twitter, we put our watches up there too. But remember, you can get in contact just by calling me directly. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.